Hello, this is Rizorat from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to share you a code for a custom function in Power Query that you can use to invoke and uh, invoke it for your tables and get the column value distribution like what you see in this report. Uh, let's see how that function works. <music> Uh, this is the second video of uh, the series I've done for uh, for this column value distribution. The previous video explains how this works, what is the step-by-step -step process of that. This video I'm explaining uh, that how you can just apply it for any of, any of tables that you have. I'm not discussing the details of how it works. I'm explaining how you can use it. Uh, what I have is a code for a Power Query function, this script. You can access this script from the link down in the, the description uh, that goes to a blog article. This is the blog article that you can just go and copy this code. Uh, go into your Power BI file, start with a new blank query. If you are in Power Query uh, Editor, new source blank query. If you are in Power BI Desktop, that would be get data blank query. When you come to here, then you can go to the View tab, Advanced Editor, View tab, Advanced Editor. This will open the uh, Power Query Editor's Advanced M script. Editor, this is the place that you see the script behind this. If you are interested in learning this scripting language, I have videos about that, go and check it out. Links to more information is down in the description below. So once you are here, you can delete everything that is there and just paste the code that you copied from the website, including uh, basically everything that this functions need. When you click on done, you'll see that this will change to become a function. FX is an icon for a function. Again, if you are interested to see how function works and what is a custom function in Power, query uh, go and check out the link down in the description with full details uh, and a video explaining that basically a custom function is a set of steps that you can apply on more than one source so the way that this function works and you can rename it like what i've done here column distribution you can rename it to that uh, this function gets an input which is a table name any table name in your uh, in your list of tables and the output would be also a table. The way that you can call it is really simple. You just select the table that you want as an input and then you just invoke it. Uh, for example, if I select it for Fact Internet Sales or let's say Dim Customer or Dim Date, any of these, I just click on Invoke. Uh, it will take a little bit of time and then this is the column distribution report. The mm, the column value distribution is actually quite time consuming and resource consuming. So if you are running it on your fact tables with millions of rows of uh, data and also many columns, be aware that this might take quite a while. I strongly suggest that you reduce the number of rows, reduce the number of columns, focus only on the area that you want. Once you have this output, then the rest is simple. This table is your column distribution table. You can rename it to whatever you want. And then you can go to, uh, to your visualization and use it to be um, used for uh, a visualization like this. I have, for example, the column values here. For example, if the value is, if the column is colored, the value is like black, red, silver, yellow. And the distribution shows that how many rows I have with uh, uh, with NA, not applicable, or blank as a color name, or uh, red. This is quite helpful in your data quality report because the users can understand their data better by looking at the report instead of going into Power Query because this option by default is available in Power Query Editor only for Power BI developers. Now you are making it available for the users as well. Again, as I mentioned, I, I did not explain in this video how this function works behind the scene. The code of this function does all the work and magic. In the previous video, the link again is in down in the description below, you can learn what is the steps that you can follow and achieve that and learn how step by step this process works, how that function actually 
generates the column distribution uh, value distribution report i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi thank you